Hey everybody, it's Ori from AstroWeb, and I uh, just wanted to say thank you for listening to my videos, spending time. It's really an honor to be able to share uh, some of my knowledge on the internet for people to learn, to use, and I'll be happy to answer any questions if, it, if it you have on the comments. So uh, this video is talking about uh, setting up a cron job, and uh, what a cron job is is basically some kind of a script or some kind of routine or some kind of uh, a task you want to accomplish on a regular basis. So maybe you want to um, every day at let's say 3 a.m. you want to make a backup of your files or you want to send an automated email twice a day with uh, some kind of stats or you want to delete your temp files or uh, optimize your database or uh, you know stuff like that. So um, basically uh, I'm going to show you how to do it on a, one specific server we have which is a media temple server it's a virtual dedicated but uh, it pretty much applies to GoDaddy to any hosting it's pretty much the same uh, but of course the menu to get to it is going to be a little different so uh, what we did is we logged in first of all to media temple uh, went to our domain and actually opened the Plesk account so you might have cPanel you might have a simple control panel whatever it is and uh, what we did is we basically went to our domain, this is uh, one of our domains, uh, go to, went to the tab website and domains, okay, and typically the, the actual um, page is called cron, but on Media Temple for some reason, uh, under the adv advanced areas, they just call it scheduled tasks. So uh, that really explains what it is, but most places I find that it say cron, C-R-O-N. Um, so pretty straightforward. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to go under the user and I'm going to delete the old one and I'm actually going to set one up uh, with you guys. So let's remove this. Okay, perfect. So now um, let's remove. Okay, and now I'm going to click on schedule a new task. And we're going to um, obviously switch it on, and we're going to specify the minute we want it to run. So right now it's 22. Let's set it up to minute 25. And the hour, um, right now our, the server is different from, from my specific computer, so I'm going to tell it to run every single hour. And um, instead, of, instead of specifying, let's say, 2 p.m., I can specify a star, and... Um, It'll, it'll basically do every single hour, all 24 hours it'll run, and then day of the month, uh, month, of course, you can see the example here, uh, month one is January, obviously, and day of the week, we can specify that as well. And um, the final thing we need to do is actually include the command. So what is the script we want to run? So before we do that, let's show you what we prepared. So now I went to the FTP area and um, we created two scripts. So the script I want to run regularly for this test is an email script. And basically what that does is very simply, it just sends an email. So to, what's the subject, so test mailing, uh, the message from headers, and of course the PHP command for sending out a mail. So this is just for a test. You can do, again, anything you want with this. So let's save it. Okay, and now we need to do one more thing. And basically, if you notice the, the command, we actually have to go and, and run the command. So we have to actually specify the full directory name and the script that we just created and put it. So um, most likely, you probably don't remember what, what it is. It's not the HTTP www slash this slash that. It's actually the file, uh, the folder structure. So in order to get that, I basically created a simple PHP script that it, it just pulls out or um, shows on the screen on the browser what the directory structure is. Directory name, very, very simple. So uh, let's go to the directory name, and this is you know our path, and this is the entire uh, structure on the server, var, www, vhost, and, and on and on. So I'm going to copy this, and if you remember, uh, the uh, script is email.php. So I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to type in, before the, the command, I need to actually run the PHP script. So I'm going to run PHP, and then I'm going to paste this and type in email.php. So now our, our complete code is PHP space, and then run the actual PHP script. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on OK, 
and then it should save. So um, that's basically it. I'll give you two more tips and then we're going to obviously test it because you always want to test that, that what you did is correct, you didn't make mistakes, it's enabled and on and on. So um, two tips. So uh, just for troubleshooting, number one, sometimes on some servers in the past, um, if you don't specify the full URL to the PHP source or the PHP uh, um, compiler, uh, it, it won't work. So you might have to specify slash, I don't remember what it was correct uh, right now, but slash uh, uh, etc slash uh, uh, php or, or something like that. So that, that's one for troubleshooting. The second thing is you always need to make sure that the script that you place, this one, has correct permissions. Because when you place it, you might place it as the www uh, w, um, user. And it might not have the cron is using a different user as we saw before and uh, it might not work so you can kinda those are probably the two most popular uh, um, troubleshooting problems or problems that might happen I'll be happy to answer any in the comments and if you have any questions please let me know and let's actually check that we received an email okay okay perfect so we got it here test mailing hello this is a simple mail message and that's it. So everything worked. Uh, it's, again, it's pretty similar on all of the other hostings. Um, if you have any questions, we'll be happy to help. Again, thank you very much for listening. Thank you.